In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix the orientation of your model in the manufacturer workspace. We can use the workspace coordinate system to do that in Fusion 360. Sometimes we just accidentally have our model that's sideways, or maybe we have to make it sideways. But when we go to this, make a setup in Fusion 360, we click Setup, New Setup in the manufacturer workspace. Notice that the Z is pointed up. That means any machine is going to try to cut these top edges. That may be what you want to do, so that's okay. But generally, we want to cut the faces. So how do we change that? First, let's select our model. Click here, and then I'm going to click this manufacturer model. So I have all the pieces. The next magic is under the work coordinate system. We can click model orientation, which is default, but then we can also do select Z axis plane and X axis. If I do that, I can click this plane. Now the Z axis is pointed up and then I can click the X axis and it makes that. I can also flip the Z or I can flip the X. The other option is to select Z axis and the Y axis. So I can select that for the Z and then this for the Y. And I can also flip those both either way. I can also just select X and Y. So if I click here and then there, it will override both of those and select the X and Y. And I can also select the entire coordinate system. So I can make this be at an angle and really move it around. So that is a great way to do that as well. So what I'm going to do is do Z axis plane. So I'll click that and the x-axis plane. Perfect. With laser cutting, it doesn't matter where this is. It just matters that the z is pointed up, but sometimes it does matter. And so we can choose where our stock starts. So on this particular model, I can make my box point and then I can click the stock right at the top here. So now it thinks it's starting there, but this usually is not the best because now the x-axis is running off. So a better place to pick would be this section right here. So now this is the Y, this is the X, and on most CNC machines, this would be a good orientation. I'm gonna press OK, and then I can make my toolpath. So I go cutting, 2D profile, I can select a tool. Now I have my laser cutter, and then when I pick geometry, notice that it picks on the sides. So now I can cut those out, and it'll generate a toolpath on the side because it knows where Z is. If I went back and edited that setup to be model orientation, it's going to give me an error right here. So then I can edit that 2D profile. And if we look at the geometry, notice it's trying to cut straight down through all the pieces. So I could delete that geometry. And if I wanted to, I could cut these pieces out. If for some reason this is what I wanted to do. But notice the Z axis is pointed this way. So hopefully you can use the work coordinate system in Fusion 360 to change the Z, X, and Y axis so the Z is pointed up for machining and laser cutting and make all the wonderfully fabricated parts that you want to. Happy 3D modeling and fabricating.